Do you feel like you have no idea how to approach and talk to girls during social distancing? Today, we gon' fix that. What up, homie? My name's Dave, and I put out new videos every week to help you get the girls you want and become the man you're meant to be. And let's face it, man, 2020 is a just a complete nuts year. People are gonna look back at this year in the history books and say, what the fuck? We've got pandemics, riots, everything is just overly politicized, we get cancel culture, and with all this craziness, social dynamics have changed a bit too. Like the way you approach girls now is a little bit different than it was six or seven months ago, and that's what I'm gonna break down today. Kind of like the do's and don'ts of approaching girls in this new world so that you can maximize your chances of success, minimize your chances of screwing things up. So let's get into it. Let's tell the world about it. Help spread a little light. It all comes back around. It feels so good to be. Alive. I'll preface this by saying maybe the biggest don't of all is don't avoid approaching altogether. Yeah, I know things are a little bit weird right now, but there are still opportunities that you can take advantage of. And if you're not doing it, the only person missing out is you. Now the first don't is don't get butt hurt. Let's face facts, man. You may see harsh rejections because girls are afraid of COVID and maybe they just don't want to talk to anybody. While this is still going to be the rare case, most girls are at least going to give you the time of day. It is going to be a little bit more common that the rejections will be a bit more tense. To add to that, you probably haven't talked to a ton of people over the past few months, so you need to shake off some of the social rust as well. So maybe you're not going to be quite as smooth as you typically would be. Whatever the case though, it's really important to not get really butthurt about it. You gotta be okay with just shaking off the rejections, moving on, remembering that girls don't, they're not rejecting you, they're rejecting your approach or maybe they're just feeling bad that day. But the number one thing you don't wanna do is look at yourself after a rejection and say, oh, I must be a piece of shit. That's why this is happening. Don't take yourself so seriously, bro. You're gonna be all right. Next, don't make excuses. You never wanna catch yourself thinking, oh, I can't approach girls because of COVID. That's the thoughts of a loser, right? There's always a way to make it happen. Is it a little bit more challenging? Yeah, of course it is, but that's okay. If you can approach right now and make something happen, then when things are back to normal, it's gonna be even 10 times easier for you. So instead of seeing it as an impossible thing, see it as that enhanced challenge that is going to make you better, that's going to force you to step out of your comfort zone and make you to be a better man. Next, don't sneeze or cough in your face. This is probably not gonna get the best reaction Action, and you also might spread that COVID, so just cough in the elbow. And finally, don't get political. Like I said, the world is a crazy place right now. You don't know which way different people lean. It's better to just keep those opinions to yourself until you're actually getting to know a girl on a deeper level later on when you're actually dating her, not in that first interaction. Now, bro, before we get to the do's, I just have one quick favor to ask you. I'm always trying to create awesome content for you and I want to know the best way that I can help you. So I just created a super quick dating survey. It literally takes like 15 seconds to fill out and it's going to help me structure my content in a way that's going to best help you. So to fill it out, just click that first link in the description and bro, I will really appreciate it. Can't wait to create some more dope content for you. You're helping me to help you. Now, let's get back to the video. So I'll preface this by saying that many girls are open and really just starved for social interaction. So if you go up in a good way, they're going to want to talk to you. With that in mind, the first big do is do go to the right places. So nightclubs and big parties are pretty much out of the question, at least for the time being. So where does that leave you? Well, one of the best places to start meeting girls is at the park. What I love about the park right now is this is where you're gonna find more adventurous minded girls, girls who are gonna be at least somewhat open because they're kind of getting out and about. Aside from the park, I would say grocery stores, malls, walking streets, and even restaurants if you're allowed to kind of walk uh, around in the, in the restaurant and you're not forced to just sit at your table the whole time. And you wanna try squeezing all of these places into to your natural routine throughout your week so that you're naturally meeting girls versus feeling like you have to force it. Next up, do take Afro D. Now bro, I take this every single morning for confidence, libido, performance, and drive. 
It is awesome, especially when it comes to charging up your sexual energy, and this is gonna help you to talk to girls with a lot more intention. If you're like most guys, your habits have kind of gone to the wayside over the last few months, so Afro-D is gonna help you to get back on track and have more energy so you do have that fuel to go talk to more girls and make things more sexual when you are talking to them. Now, if you wanna check out Afro-D yourself and see what thousands of other guys have been raving about, just click that second link in the description and grab your first bag. Do approach girls with masks. Listen, man, just because a girl has a mask on doesn't mean she isn't open to having a conversation. But one quick tip on that, though, is you might want to get her Instagram because if you don't know what the bottom half of her face looks like, you could be in for a bad surprise. But you want to make sure you do have empathy, and that may be more important right now than ever before. Now, a few ways to show empathy during your approaches are to, one, wear a mask. A lot of girls are going to be out there wearing masks, and in a lot of places, it's even required to do so. So it's best to just do it yourself. And when you're talking to the girl, if she seems super, super comfortable with you, then you can always like pull the mask down under your chin and talk to her like that. Another way you can show empathy is to not get as close to her as you normally would, at least in the early part of the conversation. Now again, if she seems super comfortable and open to talking to you, that's when you can close the gap a little bit, even after the first few seconds. But by kind of testing the vibe out at first, it's going to show that you have some empathy and some social awareness. If you're getting all up in a girl's grill right off the bat and she's not comfortable because of COVID, it's not going to go well for you. And then do follow the fundamentals. The fundamentals are maybe more important now than ever. And that means doing things like talking slow so she can understand you, smiling and both of these things are going to be key when you're wearing a mask, especially because it's going to make your eyes look a little bit more positive and friendly and make sure that she can understand you even with the mask on. Then you should also lead the interaction, tease her a little bit and go for the clothes at the end, whether, either, whether that be either getting her phone number and getting a hangout or seeing if she wants to go somewhere else and kind of going for an instant date. Now, bro, if you follow these do's and don'ts, your interactions during social distancing are gonna be a lot more successful, but you're still gonna need to know how to keep the conversation going. And for that, I recommend checking out this video right here. It'll teach you exactly how to do that. Let's keep it going. I'll see you right there, homie.